Hi, Carl here. Welcome to another coffee show. Today I'm going to be looking at the Krups City Z Espresso Coffee Machine and the Aerochino Milk Frother. Sadly, mine's broken, so it's a good opportunity to look inside and see how it works. Please smash the like button and thanks to all those people who have subscribed. It means a lot to me and helps me grow. Enjoy the show. So here we have the Krups Nespresso coffee machine. It's the City Set edition. I've had this about 10 years now. It's a very simple standard setup. We have here the water jug, which just simply slots in at the back. The Aerochino, which as I said is broken, and we'll have a look inside in just a bit. And inside this tray, we have two att attachments for hot and cold frothy milk. One off switch here, so easy to do. Capsule inside, down the lid goes, cup underneath, also a tray here if you want to bring a cup higher and used coffee capsules in here ready to be put in the recycling bin two buttons short fill long fill simple press and off it goes As you can see, very easy to use. I'll find a video for you to see how this uh, Aerochino works as well. Simply put, fill it with milk up to one of the lines and lid on, press the button, done. And that's it. Now it's time to take this apart and see what's inside and how it works. So before we take apart the Aerochino 3, let's see it in action. Okay, so she's going to use the hot frothing milk attachment. She's filled it up and turned it on. A few seconds later, she's got hot frothy milk and now she's just gonna add some coffee. It's very simple and easy to use. And in the UK, it only costs 50 quid. So now it's time to take this apart and see what's inside. Let's remove the glass, turn it upside down, and we have just two screws which just need to be untightened no need to take them all out the first mistake I made was to try and peel this off but in fact it's between if I can just focus that here and here that it comes apart and Quite tight at first, but there you go. That's it. Under the camera. You see it just slides out. There's the base. There. The milk cup. The board which holds the on off switch and all that's needed to control and switch off the milk frothing. We just have two prongs here keeping this casing on and as you can see we have two copper connectors which send heat to this heat pad 
which effectively heats the bottom of that and heats the milk up. A temperature control which sits on here and tells the machine when to stop. This spins around which holds the motor and that sits in there and as that goes round, clearly that goes round frothing the milk. This is kept on by two screws. Take that out, take the two screws out, uncoil this wire, and simply done. That comes out, unsolder this, and I could, if I wanted to, replace this motor. I think they're about five to five to ten pounds on eBay, which is better than paying fifty pounds, but then I'd have to pay for a soldering iron etc in order to change it over now what i do is i'll put this back now and show you how we can easily put it back as you can see here there's a cross and the cross these need to line up and that went in surprisingly easy I did it Right, get this black wire out of the way. Right, that looks like that's in. There you go. I'll place this back in its holder. Screw one. to try and escape. Come on, in you go. There we go. And then this simply slides in there prongs open change the bits over now you'll need to remove this button here in order to, for it to slide in nicely Pop it out, there it goes, and line it up, ensuring that everything is in place, and there we go, the button is in line, that means the screws are in line, just tighten those up.
there's the button and simply done that just clips back in there that back on and back down and and that's the inner workings of the Aerochino 3. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like button and consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. Have a great day.